Paul Hanley works at a homeless shelter, where he resides most of the time. After a decade of working for the Foreign Service, he went back to school and received an MFA from William & Mary. He has been socking away writing in paper journals, and for the first time is not too overwhelmingly embarrassed to share some of it. Paul Hanley is one of many names. He lives on a skiff tied to Lake Okeechobee, working as a hunting and fishing guide, all tax-free. Weapons, books, and southern comfort are his best friends. Paul Hanley is transgendered on the advice of his father. Paula was a star Kamoji player in college. Paula now works as a sales manager that has imbued the sales staff with a proportional sense of fear and is considering reversing her operation. She wrote a pilot about her experiences that aired in the fall of 2006 that resulted in threats by sponsors to pull all network advertising. Paul Hanley has developed a philosophical treatise of which the theme is that the circle of infinity has gaps that amass building materials until enough essentials fall into the spacer to launch a new circle of infinity with its own identity. Paul Hanley has passed away and released his poems for submission to every journal in all six states that he lived. The prophecies contained in them are to be taken literally. Paul is the groundskeeper at Ritter's Point on the weekends, where he makes sure the lighthouse functions, clears away tourist debris, and once cared for a deserted baby sea lion until it was old enough to fend for itself. During the week, he is a fluffer, in the old-fashioned sense, for legitimate film. Paul Hanley is a Hebrew man who runs a camp for hate groups that shoot placard targets painted of blacks with watermelon heads, Catholics wearing miters, and Jews adjusting dials on a TV. He will be able to retire to a nine-hole golf course he owns in Nova Scotia in approximately 12 years. Paula Hanley is an entity in a shell of a body. It's been a long, hard journey. The only way to break the monotony of the screens in his head is through intense yoga and meditation. Poetry is his spectrum of serenity to chaos.